Hey, and welcome back everyone. This is Keith once again here at WCCF Tech TV, and we're gonna do another short tutorial on auto overclocking functions, except this time not with uh, AMD Radeon and the Vega cards with the new Adrenaline drivers. We're actually taking a look at the GTX 1080, or rather the entire Pascal line of GPUs, because they're now supported in the OC scanner from NVIDIA. Now, right now it's only available through two different overclocking utilities. One is MSI Afterburner, the other one is EVGA Precision X1. So what I'm gonna do is go through the steps on how to enable it and then, you know, some best practices, I suppose you could say. I'm gonna start off with MSI Afterburner. Now this is the 4.6.0 Beta 10. That's what you're gonna need to have, at least that version or newer if you're looking at this in the future. And you've got your multiple settings here. You got your power limit, your temperature limit, core clock, memory clock, and your fan speed. My recommendation right now is to go ahead and Take your power limit and go all the way up. As far as it'll let you go, this can go to 120, 92 on the temp limit. I would go ahead and hit OK on there. And now you're going to go to the OC scanner, which is actually this little nice OC button here on the top. Click on that. You bring it up. It's got this simple interface. First thing you want to do, even though test is like highlighted, you're going to want to start with the scan and then you can test it later. But once you do that, you'll definitely want to hit the little check mark here to apply that. Otherwise, you didn't do anything. You just let it scan. So that's MSI Afterburner. Now, of course, you can configure it even further as far as how you want it to start up and everything. You can do that with both of these. But we're going to close that, and we're going to open up EVGA Precision X1. Now, right off the bat, I do want to mention that in Precision X1, I did notice a slight bug with mine. I don't know if you will see it. Mileage may vary on this one. But when you bring it up, you want to go ahead again with your um, power target. You want to take it all the way up as much as you want it can go. Now this right here on the right hand side will take you to the fan curve. You can go right to get left first, but I've noticed on the fan curve setting, it crashes with version 3 or 0.3.11.0. And this is the one that supports Pascal based GPU OC scanner, which the OC scanner is to the left and click on that. And it'll bring up the nice VF curve tuner. And again, you got a pass fail. Uh, you can scan and test, of course, Start with the scan. I'm going to go ahead and click on it so you guys can see what it looks like once it gets going. And you can see here it's starting to change things. And as it goes through the scan, it will adjust those numbers. So that's how you utilize the OC scanner from NVIDIA in either one of the MSI Afterburner or the EVGA Precision X1. You know, I hope you guys found this informative and somewhat entertaining. I don't know how entertaining it possibly could have been. Either way, this has been Keith with WCCF Tech TV. Make sure you guys are subscribed and you've hit that notification bell so that we don't miss you in the next video.